it's me, host Super Sorrel. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. It's Marvel legend Yelena Belova from the new Black Widow movie, Wave of the Marvel Legends, featuring the Crimson Dynamo Bath Wave. This is Yelena Belova. She, is, I believe, is the younger sister of Black Widow, or some form of relation to Black Widow. I believe it's a sister, from what I've seen in the trailer. Uh, Yelena Belova is beautiful. Look at that eyes rendering there from the movie. And again, they've copied that onto the side. So this is one of the MCU figures based on the new movie. I'm not sure if Disney's going to announce pushing this one back due to the virus, but we'll see. I'm um, looking forward to seeing this movie, actually. And as you can see from the back of the packaging, guys, we have reviewed a bunch of these figures already. Yes, guys, we have reviewed a bunch of these already, including Red Guardian, Winter Soldier, Crossbones. I'm still waiting on Taskmaster and Black Widow to arrive, um, as they were the ones that Hasbro UK haven't shipped to the UK yet. I did, I did get these from Comics and Cocktails. <coughs> I did get these from Comics and Cocktails. And um, they only got half of the wave in, but they sent me them now so that I could review them for you. So bear with me on Taskmaster and Black Widow. We'll get, we'll get reviewed a little bit down the line uh, when they arrive to me. So, Yelena, what's her story? It says on the back, a product of the Red Room's ruthless training program, Yelena Belova is a fiery assassin. Ooh. Yes, and I believe obviously we've got the original Black Widow in this movie as well. I think it's the original, which is going to be played by Rachel Wise. Because I believe, don't, don't they all take on the moniker of the Black Widow at some point? Uh, but Yelena's not a character I'm overly familiar with from the comic books. I'm not sure if it's just a character that's been in the just been in the films now, or whether she's actually from the comics, I'm not 100% sure. <clears throat> Alright, let's break her out. We've got two, I think, shoulder podron pieces here for the uh, robot. We've also got like a, another centerpiece here. And we've finally got the body. We'll have a look at the back piece we've got so far at the end. We might try and build a little bit of it. But Yelena does come with um, some alternate hands, because she does have one fisticuff hand, but I'm going to be changing that straight to the gun hands. I want both guns, because obviously she's going to be like Black Widow, she's going to dual wield both pistols. Obviously in the movie playing her, it's Flores Pugh, who you may remember played uh, Paige in the WWE's movie um, Fighting With My Family. That's where I know her from. Very talented actress. Very talented. Alright guys, so here she is out of the packaging, looking nice. I'm loving that hair piece as well, all tied up at the back. The face sculpt is very nice as well. It does actually resemble the actress pretty well. But the head for the figure is on a baller joint, so you can make a look almost all the way up, as well as all the way down, left and right. Her arm piece do lift up that top hinge, they do rotate, as well as with a single hinged bicep there. I hate these bicep pieces, I hate them with a passion. And they also rotate completely almost round. And her hands are on a ball joint as well. There's also some swivel at the bust there as well. You can't really, you can crunch forward a little bit, as well as backwards a little bit, but mainly crunch her around there. And there's no further waist swivel. The legs do lift out all the way. As well as forwards, backwards with a top thigh cut, double hinged knee there. There's no boot cut, but they have got rock arm pivot. And you can put uh, a stand because she does have holes in the feet. So as you can see, she does come with a gun hand and also the fisticuff hand. I'm going to change the fisticuff hand straight away to a secondary gun hand. For customizers out there, just let you know, these um, pieces on the wrists do come off, by the way. They, they rotate around and stuff, so you could take those off and use them on a custom figure. Um, what I mean by that is, obviously, this body piece is nice for, for a Black Widow custom, but she's a little bit on the shorter side to most other female figures in the range. Just by an, it's, by, it's not much, but it's noticeable. It's like they've made Yelena like about a fraction of an inch shorter. I've got the other Black Widow here as well. 
You'll see that better when I go down to desk cam anyway. But the, um, there's no holsters for this one. Well, there's, we have one holster. We have one holster. Just on that side. But I'm not going to be using it. I'm going to be having... I, want, I like her to have both pistols in each hand. The guns are nice and small as well. They are in keeping with the um, character because they are very, very small pistols, but they do look like the ones that they'd use in the film. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to go to the dash cam to give you guys an up-close personal look at this awesome figure. And we'll also look at other figures from this range as well and compare her to Red Guardian and, uh, and Black, Black Widow figure and things like that. So... Let's head on down to the desk cam. All right, guys, here she is out of the packaging, looking beautiful. I'm loving that face sculpt, by the way, people. Really am digging that now. It does look like a quiet a lot. I've got her stood in a kind of natural, neutral stance here where she's got the guns up and uh, it looks like she's surveying or like heading out somewhere. Um, loving the, co the costume pieces as well. Very nice, she's got the white, um, Suit on just like Black Widow would wear with the same sort of uh, green and black Kevlar vest. Very similar to the one that Black Widow wears uh, later on down the line in um, Endgame. <laughs> Good, I had to think then. So I'm wondering if that's something that maybe Yelena gives to her. Because it is Yelena's costume piece. So I'm wondering whether that's who she gets it from for the next movie for her costume. Also, I'm still wondering whether they're keeping a hidden um, character from us from the film. I've got a feeling Hawkeye is going to be in there somewhere as a cameo. And maybe a Samuel L. Jackson appearance as well. I definitely think they're keeping that under wraps. Also, this film, they're making it for a reason. It is set in the past. No, I know it's just because you know, they've been dying to give us a Black Widow movie for some time now. Uh, this is the way to do it, but I do think it will have a deeper consequence and meaning for the future MCU. I do think there's going to be a reason in there. Otherwise, why make the movie? Especially, the MCU is always full of little Easter eggs and little nods. and So I think this might be the first... You know, cause it's the start of the next sort of big movies coming up, isn't it? So I'm wondering whether there's going to be some little hidden meaning behind this film. Other than that, guys, just looking at this figure... Oh, I've touched it. There we go. Um, the these little gauntlet pieces here do come off as well. Um, I like in the fact that they do give it alternate hands, so we can have fisticuffed hands as well. Although I don't think anyone's going to use those, but they will also be good for a widow custom as well, or any female character really. Um, so that's always good to have spare hands. I'm liking the tiny little guns as well. They're really cool. Again, the, the this vest piece doesn't come off unlike the Black Widow one from Endgame. It is actually. Uh, made onto the actual body itself. There is a few little paint issues, like the white on the green and stuff like that in places, but it's still a pretty, pretty decent looking figure. So if I put her guns down, and if I can try and get it to stand. This figure really doesn't want to stand. She's got them awful, she has got flat, flat shoes, but I don't know, the figure just doesn't want to stand. Okay, let me go and stand her up. So there we have Yelena, guys, from the MCU movie. Let's stand her next to an MCU version of Black Widow. She's not from the line, this is just a different one. Um, I have taken the green vest off of my Widow, uh, just to give her the traditional Black Widow outfit uh, with the blonde hair, which I kind of like right now. Um, obviously, she, she, this one did have this vest on, basically. Um, also in the wave as well guys, you can get Winter Soldier, he's definitely worth picking up from the comic book line, he's very very cool. And also in the comic book series of figures from this wave, you can also get Crossbones, he's pretty awesome as well. If you haven't seen my review of those, please do check them out. And just to show you what it looks like, MCU version of Red Guardian is obviously in this movie with them as well. So let's get David Harbour in that, he's not going to stand now is it? Oh, and we're knocking everything over. God damn you, David Harbour. But there they are, all three of them together. Are you looking forward to the Black Widow movie, guys? Let me know in the comments down below. I did also promise you a little look at the bath pieces we've got so far. So we have got the body now. 
Um, so I can actually attach the head to it. And I can go ahead and add some arms. Um, it is come with this back piece which just slots in here. So that goes onto there. And it does come with some giant um, pauldrons pieces. What are they? Do they just clip into here then? Oh, nice and simple. Yeah, so they just slot on like that. They're a little bit fiddly, but they do just go on. So you can just slot those on over the top. And that's what we have so far, guys. We are just missing the legs now. Which, uh, and maybe something else. We've, got, no, I mean, we've still got three figures to review, so something else must come. Hmm. But interesting. Alright, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Let, uh, let's get back to the main cam and finish off this video. So guys, what's your thoughts on Yelena? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed today's video, guys, then please make sure you smash that subscribe button. Subscribing really supports us. It really helps us out and helps us keep making awesome videos. I will be doing a giveaway at 30,000 followers now. So please make sure you are following along so you don't miss out on that awesome, awesome giveaway as well. Are you looking forward to the Black Widow movie as much as me? I'm hoping they don't uh, put it off being delayed like Mulan and other movies. I've got a feeling it will be, but um, I hope not because I'm really excited to see it. But guys, thank you very much for watching. We've still got the Spy Master review to do next, and then we are waiting for the end of the wave to arrive now. So I hope you've enjoyed this series of reviews, but don't worry, we have got a bunch of other awesome content coming up. I've just, Today I've just placed a pre-order uh, for a bunch of new stuff. I'm tempted to make a video if you guys are interested on what I've currently got on pre-order and what's coming out this year. So I'm tempted to make that video over the weekend as well for you. But guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Super Sorrel, and I'll see you in the next video. May the Force be with you. Bye!